What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, um, let me go here first. I'm gonna check the right side of the southern region. And then we're gonna go check the west side of the southern region. I think to go there, I need to go up first. Can I make this? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's run through this tunnel and then we'll look for a way to shoot to the east. Cause it just looks like a cliff face. Hang on. I might... Damn, this is really going out of the way. But I think this might be the route I have to take. Yeah, I'll just follow this road. Look at this little, little, uh, wooden bridge over there. It's interesting. Well, we're already on the higher path. We're gonna... No, wait, this is where... I'm going south. This isn't where I want to go. I want to go east. See, that, that fall looked easily as long as some of the other falls that I've taken that were critical. here. There we go. Yeah, so we are heading exactly where I want to go. As long as I don't get so low that I am even ground, which shouldn't be possible. Here we go, another grace site. I really like that, because it would be, like, it, honestly, it would be kind of hard to just spot random bonfires that are hidden throughout the world. God, I could have just gone that way. This is where all those dudes were, right? Yes, it is. Wow. So I could have just run past them and then turned and gone right up. Is this a, it's another Grace site. Wow. Grace City. Trade again. Um, I can always use another cracked pot. Runes held. You know what? Let me grab one of these just to see what these notes are. My guess is the notes have details like, oh, these, these enemies are weak to fire or something, but. Slay the demi-human mobs leader first. Okay, so it's just strategies for fighting them. Six hundred. That'll do it. All right. Uh, let me see. Level wise, I really need to focus. I think I want to get vigor and endurance both up to twenty. I want to start leveling faith, but you know, a solid. Uh, I would argue a solid foundation of your your core stats is. One of the more important things in a Souls game. And I got now that I've met the weapon requirement, which is 26. I mean, it's not 
terribly high, but as early in the game as we pushed to get it, it was definitely a, a hefty investment. What is going on here? Figure out what these damn statues are. I've seen a bunch of those out in the world, but I have no idea what they do. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Wait, is it suggesting there's... Gatekeeper. Did I just unlock something? Well, let's go do this weird necromancy ring thing. That that looks like it, it. Maybe I need to hit a bunch of those and it unlocks an area. Get your gravity ass out of here. Oh god, Definitely do want to find a different weapon that's a little bit longer. This thing is just the range on it. It, it hurts. <laughs> it's not not good range at all. Definitely pointed, I'm looking at the map, it pointed down here. Impaler's Catacombs. But it just seems like a normal dungeon. I wonder what it meant by roots. Guide to the roots. Maybe it just points you in the direction of a dungeon. Maybe that's the whole purpose. Just because, you know, they can be kind of tucked away and hidden. like a very deadly fall. Look out for floor traps.
figured out how to use any of that stuff yet. <clears throat> Outside of like upgraded. But that stuff was it upgraded the art, I thought. Strength and ashes, yeah. Uh, quite a few of those. I need these guys. The smithing stone tier two. Oh, wow. Something incredible ahead. Where is there a... wait. Oh shit! Well, hopefully I was supposed to go down here because it sure made sure that's the direction I was going. Shit, I did not want me to heal. Oh shit, it's a grab attack. Ow, those really hurt. Honest, not really a fan of the slow moving zombies that give you hugs. Rattling hate, please help. Uh, let's go this way, item. Hello, friends. Yeah, okay. we're out of there, dude. No, thank you. Those dudes take a lot of hits to kill. They give very not nice hugs. And that's the mechanism. Well, that's quite nice. Um, I mean, I'm right here. I might as well just rest, get back all my flasks. I'm so torn, because, like, on one hand, I really do like this hammer. But on the other, it's just so... It's just such a dookie range, you know? Like, it doesn't... It doesn't really get the job done like it should. Okay, so yeah, with that thing I picked up, basically I can pick almost any weapon and make it standard heavy keen quality. I said magic, so I can go heavy standard keen quality magic. So that was definitely worth using one of my key things. I wish I didn't use one in the, uh, in the castle area. Just because it seems like that, it, it seemed like, uh, you know, where I got that, that, um, it felt like, you know, end, end of the game, you start throwing your stuff there. Uh, quick step axe standard attack causes blood loss buildup. Huh. You know, like, oh, you have things left? Yeah, go and pop open the doors, we'll give you some cool weapons. So I got that sniper crossbow. I haven't even touched that. 
When did I get golden great bow? I don't even remember picking this up. Powerful archery skill using a great bow held in oblique stance. Ready the great bow, twist the bowstring, fire a mighty great arrow. Weapon of the guardian golem. I, I literally don't remember ever getting that. 18 decks though. That's a little bit away. It's five levels. 16 decks. Two levels. Green staff, glintstone staff, strike, sorcery scaling, no skill. Oh boy. No, no, do not like you. Go away. I didn't get it. Down you go. Demi human ashes. So, like a whole army of demi humans? That could be useful. My fang dimps have been pretty good. Uh, 50. Nuts. 69. Yeah, that is pretty strong. 69 is a... It's up there cost-wise. Taylor's Catacombs and Earthborn Cave. So we found two. And I guess at nighttime this becomes Jellyfish Land. Uh, anything else down here? No. Okay. I feel like I've seen a couple of those statues back in like the main area as well. There's like, so many things that I'm learning for subsequent playthroughs. That's a grace that I seemingly don't have. Beside the crater pocked glade. Where was... There was a... Uh, one of those uh, lift things that I saw on my way over here that I ignored. I think it was over here. I think. Let me re retrace my steps. Yeah, there it is, right there. tower look kind of spoopy. Seek three wise beasts. 
Aurelius Rise. Seek three wise beasts. Why is this turtle glowing? Are you a wise beast? Hmm. Oh, that makes me think there's like three things I need to smash around here. the glowing turtle there's jellyfish but they're always glowing and I had this what was this Ortis Sarais Three wise beasts. Maybe they're in the vicinity. They're just like around. I'm just going to do a loop around this place to see what we discover. Warming stones and great turtle shell. Continuously heal nearby allies. That's kind of cool. I think a turtle shell would be a crafting thing. Is it like a shield? Maybe? It is. Uh, 5.5 on weight. Kind of barricade shield, though. Focus energy in the shield, hardening it to deflect greater bows. Um, I haven't been parrying, so... Why not? Let's try it out. Maybe I can use it to uh, bounce them off of me and then do my counterattack. Because right now, I mean, it's, I, you know, I put all of these points into strength so that I could one hand my hammer with the intent of, you know, using the hammer and doing counterattacks. And I don't even have the poise to successfully counterattack most of the time. Can't help but feel a wee bit disappointed in that outcome. I mean, it's no fault of my, you know, it's, it's, it is my fault. Uh, I need more poise. I'm not seeing any more beasts. Three wise beasts. Well, let's head on over to here. We did a pretty good job of, of exploring this area, I think. I still need to find, um, need to find more maps. Need more maps. But we're gonna run south towards the Erd Tree for the rest of this episode. I wanna make my way up there. See what awaits us. And then there's all that stuff out there. This, I mean, I guess I could do it all. I mean, I'm fine with having longer episodes, but I don't want, like, every episode in the series to just be like, you know, hey, it's an hour of exploring. Hey, it's a another hour of exploring, you know? <laughs> like, because it starts to encroach on the territory of, like, why did I even record this? I should have just streamed it if I was going to play for such long periods of time. Uh, you look like you're gonna be fun.
Demi-humans, attack this man. Ow! Oh, bro. Living, living tree monsters are not friendly, not at all. Trees weak to fire, though. I can totally beat this thing. I just got... I just need to not get greedy at the very end there. Um, let's... I'm gonna try the demi-human people out again. I wanna give them another chance. I had that. Let me, um... I haven't used him in a while. Pull out Rot Boy. Gotcha. And now you. Oh, 
Opaline Bubble Tear, Crimson Burst Crystal Tear. I think those are things to use, uh... Yeah, steadily restore HP, temporarily boost faith, significantly nates damage. Damn. So when when I find my mixed physic, uh, HP restore and damage negation, sign me up. I'm the champion of the Erd Tree. So now that I'm here, though, what do I what do I do? What do I do? Do I still like... Is this stuff to gather? Do I like... Climb inside the tree? And become one with its roots? I'm getting lots of these tarnished gold sunflower things. Maybe that's all. Maybe it's just like, oh yeah, the, their trees are... Lots of supplies and stuff that you can pick up for crafting. Cause that's just where the dude was, right? Alright, well, that's good. Um, got enough souls for a level. know what those dudes are doing besides yelling and yelping. Um, let's keep going south, I guess. We could go south and loop our way around the coastline. glow that was here. I don't think I picked it up, whatever it was. Oh, hey. Wait, no. I want to go west... Ow, what the hell? I got a dude on a ballista up on that tower? Turtle shell is helping out a lot, though, for sure. Be able to get the lay of the land up here. Be wary of sending gate. Ah, uh, so this is one of those teleporties? Yeah. Uh, where was the last... I should get a grace site before I use that. I mean, I'm fine using the, uh, the teleporty gate, but... I 
want to find a uh I want to find a steak first. I'm going to steak a grace. Got to be a grace somewhere nearby. Turn to. There was that bell that kept ringing out. That's something that I want to find out about. There we go, grace site. All right, let's hit the grace site. Investigate the bell. I don't know, do I want to finish the coastline up before I take that teleport? Probably. What's up, merchant man? What you got? Well, now can I help? Uh, lantern. Sure, that's good. Uh, those are good. Used to duplicate ashes. The Zweihander. You can really never go wrong with a Zweihander. Um, what is this? Walking mausoleum. Mm. Comes with stamp upward cut already. DD, I can change the scaling on it. Weight is 15. Uh, oh, I'm so torn, man. Um, get those. Have a safe trip. I got an idea. I know that he's here now. That's the big thing. I know that if I decide I want to go for this fight, Hunter, I can just come back here and get it. Didn't mean to do that. What is going on here? It's like a whole undead pilgrimage or something. Look at them all. That's weird. This gives me like dragon about to swoop in and murder everything vibes. No dragon swooped in though. twinkling a twinkling noise usually means something that I want is nearby oh it's just a Healy I mean it's still good but not something that is immediately necessary. Let's go check this. Looks like a breasted church. Should have rested when I had the chance. We got a grace site. Hopefully, I don't get invaded. The fourth church of America. He said that the thing was by the third. So that when when he said Church of America, he quite literally meant like Church of America. They're titled that. Um. Ashes. Is 
sacred tear. Okay, so I should always seek out churches. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let me go that way a little bit. I didn't. I don't remember seeing anything else. I think the bell is all that I have left. The bell and the teleport. Oh no, we have an ever jail. That's the bell. Wow, it's a big old giant thing. Well, let's go see what's in here. The weeping ever jail. What is inside? This imp seal is in effect. The imp seal? Well, fortunately, your boy just bought a bunch of these. Planned on using them at the round table. What is going to happen? Is this going to be a... You're getting your ass beat scenario? Or... Or what? Um... Also be found near trees on the surface. I didn't find any root resin near the other tree. I'll hold off until I know what we're up against here. Oh, frostbite. Okay, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! Freed's great grandpa. You like fire because you're a frosty boy? Oh, man. You know, I've made some mistakes in my day, but that may be one of the worst misplays I think I've ever done. That was just embarrassing. I'm pretty sure I can, just seeing how much damage I did to that guy, I think I can poise smash. We're gonna pop the fire grease and I'm just gonna go hard as shit on this dude. I bet we get his frostbite curved greatsword thing too. Which I mean the curved greatsword that uh that first jail guy we found dropped, honestly that seems like it might be a really really potent quality weapon um for the the walkthrough because I've been debating, you know, for a while. I was like, well, because I know for the walkthrough prep, I'm going to be doing a sorcery build. So the streams will be sorcery just so I can try out magic, collect magic spells, etc. Um, and seeing... Oh, that needed to connect. Oh, okay. Got your ass. Give me your big old icy sword. I want it. 
Radigan Scar Seal. No icy sword? Robbed. Wait, what's happening? Oh, that's right, it automatically teleports you out. I was like, where where is it taking me? Uh Scar Seal. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. I remember the blind maiden. Where's the scar seal? Where's the scar seal? I'm just gonna put this on. Oh wow, that is significant, bro. Um, nope, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna put the put the lantern on there for sure. Uh, scar seal, scar seal, scar seal. It looked like a bulbous circular thing. Not there. Um, not there. Scar seal. Ah. Raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. Raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dex. Wow! Uh, that's, it's, it's like, uh, damn, let me see. How, how much are we talking about here? Whoa, bro, three points into all of them? That's insane. Uh, what, is, what does the defense go? My mitigation goes from 21, 21, 21, 21, down to 13, 13, 14. That's pretty big. It's, it's like a prisoner's chain. Um... Let's try it. That sounds nice, to be honest. That sounds really nice. Uh, okay. Let's go, uh, I want to see what I can discover with the, uh, the bell tower thing over here. And then we're gonna go do that teleporty thing. Is there a, uh... I've been in here? I've not been in here. Boomsward Cave. Let's touch the grace. We're gonna we're gonna save this for a different episode. Well, you know what? No, we got what ten minutes before we're at an hour. Let's just push through. We'll explore this area, see what we can find, and then in the next episode we could see where we get teleported. So far, this seems pretty simple. Ah, Poison Swamp Cavern, my favorite flavor of the month. So that's, I don't know, I feel like that's progression. This feels more like, no, well, because you jump down from there and you can't go up. So let's go take the other route first. No, no. Other route. No, that is the boss. Um, can't craft because I'm caught in combat. Oh no, there's goodies. How do I... I'll say poison buildup is really, really low compared to what it used to be. Which kind of makes me wonder, like, when you get poison, does it, like, really hurt? Because this is a really slow buildup. I feel like in any other Souls game, we would have been poison multiple times by now.
Honestly, poison doesn't seem all that bad. Book, book. Out of my way, big ugly. probably takes me up to that thing that I saw. Yes, indeed it does. Wasn't there like another path? I thought, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I thought I saw, or was it this path that I saw? I drop down. Oh yeah, no, this was the path. I went that way and then I came back this way. Okay. Uh, only got one. What do we got? Boost immunity. So if I'm concerned about poison in the boss encounter, I can pop that. I mean, nothing in here has been like, oh wow, this thing is difficult. I think we'll just, I think we'll be fine. Oh god, no. Okay, um... That's cute. Tiny arena where you can't move with a uh, poison spew boss. I mean, I knew it was going to be something related to poison. I did not think they were just going to be cheeky like that. Oh shit, arena acquisition. Um, I might want to pop one of these as well, because this seems like it's just going to be, this is a DPS race. And the run back is definitely annoying. I mean, it's not like terrible, but... Gonna run past all these dudes. I guess I'm getting good poison bloom. Juicy! Oh, 
Oh, baby. Viridian Amber Medallion. That should be a uh, big old chunk of stamina. Oh, it's only a, that's not a lot. It's 11. From now on, all critical attacks are called Big Juicies. Anyway, let's wrap up, though. Uh, we're going to... Well, let me, let me take a look at the map. Explain what our game plan is. So... Um, next episode, we are going to find out what's going on with the bell thing. We're going to take this teleporter just to see where it goes. And then we're going to head to the rampart and work our way through this stuff over to Castle Morn. So, um, I still got to find the damn map, too. I have not found the map for this area. Either way, stay tuned. We'll have more coming your way soon.